Team 12 is all over the Waste Management Phoenix Open. Well, this week, when you're talking about the tournament, you're not only talking about golf, and there's going to be tremendous golf out here, you're also talking about the food, the fashion, and of course, some people come out here to drink a little bit. And, really? you know, who better <laughs> to mix up a cocktail than our own Kristen Keogh? I don't know what you're trying to say about her, but. I'm saying I she's like a it. mixologist extraordinaire. <laughs> you know what? I'm okay with it because we are going to be making a cocktail that I make at home all the time. So I do think I'm the right woman for this job. But there's a man here who's going to be even better at it. This is Matt Dore. He is the beverage director at the Fairmont Scottsdale Princess. Hi, Matt. How are you doing? I'm doing great. And you know what? This really is one of my favorite drinks, the Moscow Mule. I absolutely love it. It's so refreshing. For anyone who hasn't tried one, well, we're about to get you just totally on board with a love for the Moscow Mule as well because Matt's going to show us how to do it right. Absolutely. So I think it all starts with the mug, doesn't it? Correct, yeah. Typically you want to see it in a copper mug. Uh, copper is one of the best conductors, uh, which keeps the cocktail extremely cold. And you know what? I am really disappointed if I get one and it's not in the exactly. copper mug. So you guys do it right here at the Fairmont. What's the first step to making the perfect mule? Yeah, well, you, uh, of course uh, the copper mug, but you're going to want to put some uh, ice in it, fill it all the way to the top, keep it nice and cold. And you gotta have the vodka, right? And I use Tito's at home. Tito's just seems to be just the perfect, perfect vodka for a mule. I agree, uh, Tito's is fantastic. Uh, we love it here at Fairmont. Uh, so just an ounce and a half, a nice pour there. And you gotta have the, the ginger beer. That's what really makes or breaks a mule, in my opinion. I agree, uh, Fever Tree is probably one of my favorite go-tos. Uh, you can find it at any of your liquor stores, uh, really awesome stuff. Uh, fresh lime juice is also very key. Uh, you don't want to use the, uh, the fake stuff out there. A Little bit of uh, sugar in there, simple syrup, and then uh, ginger beer, just top it right up. And there you have a Moscow Mule. There you go. And you got to top it off with the lime. Cheers to that, Matt. And you can come out and enjoy one of these at the Plaza Bar at the Fairmont Scottsdale Prince.